Oh my goodness, and here we are in Wind Clan Camp. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is amazing. This looks so different from all of the other areas that I am used to seeing. All right, everyone, and welcome. Welcome back to Warrior Cats The Untold Tales. And we are finally here. We are here in Wind Clan with our brand new, very young cat, Thimbleweed. Thimbleweed is a very young, kind of awkward, very goofy little boy who is a member of Thunder Clan camp, and he has been here his whole life, clearly. He is not born from any rogues. He is uh, one of the Wind Clan bred and born. And this is a pretty, a pretty sparse. I was gonna, oh, it's so pretty over here. Lightheart, look at this area you have. This is quite lovely. Oh my gosh, look at all of this. There's probably plenty of room to put down some plants. There's Proud Star. Here's Trainer Scarney. We have Spot Ridge, who is perhaps the elder. I wonder who the elder is. Look at Wind Clan go. All right, so this is the medicine cat. And then where would be our medicine cat apprentice then? Is that Windy Tail? Oh my goodness, all right. This is this is really cool. This is beautiful. I'm really, really excited. So <clears throat> welcome, welcome everyone. Back to Warrior Cats, The Untold Tales in Wind Clan, Thimbleweed. Young, awkward, kind of new at trying to be a warrior. So he was just recently made into a warrior and he's kind of given the name Weed, his last half of his name for his warrior cat name, because he He's sort of awkward and, and gangly. He has really long legs and a long tail and he really loves plants. And so he's always coming back with like interesting looking plants instead of bringing back useful prey for the clan. So that's how he got his name Weed. And we have a fun little spot we can drink from right here. And it's raining. It is always raining here. Early New Leaf. This is so exciting. But little Thimbleweed is actually really envious of Windy Tail. He wishes that he could have become the medicine cat of the clan, but that it's just not the way things are going to work because Windy Tail is already the medicine cat apprentice. So one of the things that Thimbleweed is going to try to do is bring back tons of medicine plants, but that's actually going to create a little bit of competition between Thimbleweed and Windy Tail. Traditionally, Windy Tail has never really liked Thimbleweed. Windy Tail is a much more serious cat, not quite as playful, not quite as goofy as Thimbleweed is, but Thimbleweed's pretty, pretty silly. Nobody in the clan really takes him seriously just yet, and he has hasn't really earned the respect of a lot of his clan mates, let alone the respect of some of the clan's females. So we'll have to see what his story has for him. We're going to have to see how everything plays out. We have Breezefoot and Darkly. This clan, like the camp seems a little bit smaller than some of the others somehow, probably because the clan guards are right inside of the clan entrance instead of sitting outside like some of them are. Hmm. All right. We have Courage Fur down here. I imagine Courage Fur looks like the brother, um... Yeah, Courage Fur looks like Courage Fur could be the brother of Windy Tail, and they probably are the tougher cat. So I bet Courage Fur got his name because he is actually a really courageous cat, helping to defend Wind Clan. Probably like the most popular, most respected of the warriors in the camp who doesn't have like an official leadership position. That would be my guess. Then we have Frog Whisker. I thought that said Frog Whisperer for some reason, and I thought that was really really cute. So we have little Frog Whisker right down here. And that's a female we can talk with and give gifts. I wonder if they'll enjoy gifts of flowers because the Moeweed is really quite distractible. I think the Moeweed really, 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 really looks up to Windy Tail, but I don't think Windy Tail likes him very much. So these two, Windy Tail, he is also just impatient with Thimbleweed. So I think Thimbleweed really looks up to Windy Tail, but Windy Tail does not like Thimbleweed. We'll have to see how the stories play out. Then we have Lightheart, who is the medicine cat. And it looks like this medicine cat den. This is a really pretty medicine cat den. I really like it. And then we have Spot Ridge, the elder. With all the fights that have happened, me and Lightheart are low on supplies of the goldenrod plant. Oh, wait, no. It's, okay, so Windy Tail. Sorry, Windy Tail. Are you the elder? Uh, yeah, Wendy tells the elders. Sorry. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Spot Ridge. Oh my gosh. I totally got that all goofed up. Sorry, Windy Tail. I thought you were the Medicine Cat Apprentice. So that's the elder. So I wonder if that means there's a lot of stories to be told from the elder for sure. They always have stories to tell. So Spot Ridge, same story, different cat, doesn't like Thimbleweed. Thimbleweed 
probably looks up to Spot Ridge quite a bit, but I think Thimbleweed really likes Lightheart. Mm -hmm. Lightheart is the current medicine cat, so we can come and talk to the medicine cat to heal up if we need to. Good. We have Trainer Scarney. That is one heck of an awesome name for one of the trainer cats. That's just so adorable. We have our, our big boss, our big clan leader, Proud Star, right over there. Then we have Burr Kit and Jump Kit. And finally, we have Rift Claw, who is one... Oh, an apple. Oh, that's interesting. Let me tell you something about taking care of kits. It ain't easy, but we don't get too much of a break, that's for sure. If there's one thing I wish I could do, it would be to find an apple. Now that's a treat I haven't had in a while. I've been too busy to get one myself. All right, so we can see about bringing a treat to Riftclaw. I imagine Thimbleweed is very kind, but this seems like a clan full of proud, scarred, very bold and courageous cats. So I don't know how Thimbleweed would fit in amongst all these cats where can we sleep oh we can just sleep we just sleep out in the open really oh my gosh that's so interesting that's so different from the other clans who actually have a spot where they'll sort of curl up all right so figuring out the clan dynamics today Windy Tail, probably the grandfather of Courage Fur, I would say. Scarney, possibly the father. Yeah, I would say Courage Fur and Scarney, they're the same coat color. So probably the father of uh, Courage Fur. Courage Fur, most popular cat in the group. Lightheart, probably one of the few really sweet, nice cats. I'm thinking kind of like Spotted Leaf, sans like the extra Mary Sue-ness of Spotted Leaf. Uh, she probably understands how difficult life can be here in the windy plateaus of Wind Clan's camp, but it looks Looks like she also is growing a lot. Of, I mean, these are just like normal flowers. A lot of flowers just for the sake of growing flowers. So, hmm, I think Thimbleweed will have to go and bring her some moss and we'll come and drop some moss off and uh, bring that as our offering. And I think Spot Ridge uh, is probably very disciplined, but maybe a little bit of a warrior for being a Wind Clan uh, medicine cat apprentice, like a little bit more prone to forgetting to look for plants and chasing off other clans from the clan territory while he's off gathering up, um, gathering up the different medicine plants. And probably one who's often thinking about like the prey. He probably thinks more about having enough prey for all the cats to be nice and healthy rather than having enough plants. So Spot Ridge, I think he said something about comfrey, goldenrod. Okay, so we, Spot Ridge probably just orders thimbleweed around to try to like get him to do something useful. All right, going down the list and then little jump kit and burr kit who can't really talk to us yet. Very dry over here. So I think Thimbleweed's gonna go and bring Lightheart some moss to get started. And we're also going to look for a little bit of prey. All right, I think this will work out pretty well. And Leap Fur, what are you doing over here, my friend? Welcome to the camp of Wind Clan. Okay, good. So which, uh, how may I help you? There's a fresh prey, prey pile as usual. Okay, so we can come over here to eat. Then there's Ash Cloud. Um, Ash Cloud, probably the less popular younger sibling. Normal, looks like this is really heavy on the males in our camp too. Uh, normal male uh, warrior, probably the younger brother of Courage for same litter I would bet because Ash Cloud looks a lot like Spot Ridge. So they're probably siblings too. All right, and then there's Wave Jaw. What a name. Hmm. Have to admit, Frog Whisker like appeals to me as a name most of all, but with all the other males in camp, I don't know if Thimbleweed would be very popular with either of those two girls. And it looks like really helping out Lightheart and Riftclaw is going to be his main goal. All right, enough enough rambling, but I'm glad we've established Thimbleweed's character a little bit. Oh, there's a whole bunny. There's a whole bunny. Oh, he didn't catch it. Thimbleweed, you're not a very good hunter so far. Oh, there's another bunny. Oh, we got it. Oh, wow. That's a really good thing. And I don't think you can get moss from dead trees, but he'll give it a good, he'll give it a good claw just to try it out. All right. And I think he'll head straight off and let's go see. Oh, there's a whole bird. Did we get it? Oh my gosh. You're not a bad hunter, Thimbleweed. Nice. And well, oh, there's so many feathers. Oh my gosh. Ah, first thing, first thing that happens is he gets chased down by a two leg. No, Thimbleweed, you aren't a, you aren't a leader. So you wouldn't have extra chances to try to survive. So I think that he'd be scared. He's a little bit of a cowardly kitten. So, I mean, he's just a little guy. He just became a warrior. We'll have to see how his story goes, but we'll have him rush back over here. And like comes just dashing in across the sands trying to get away from the scary scary two leg But at least he can find a nice spot. I wonder if there's anywhere he can keep his feathers that 
I think we'll go ahead and drop them over next to the prey pile. There we go. And then let's go ahead and drop off the prey that we brought. And then we'll sit down with uh, Leap Fur. I think Leap Fur would probably be his mother, is my guess. So we're going to go ahead and eat. And Leap Fur is in charge of monitoring the prey pile. And actually, I think Wave Jaw, hmm, maybe that's a sister? We'll have to see. I could, I could see Thimbleweed being the only, the only kit born in his group. But one of the other really cool things about moving on to a Wind Clan camp, you guys, is that we will be poking Stream Lily's story since she is very, very popular with so many of you guys. And let's see if we can come over here and get the moss again. But Stream Lily's story has really, oh, now there's a dog. Are you kidding me? Thimbleweed, you are such an unlucky kitten. You are just one unlucky kitten. That is just the, that's just the name of the game with you. Oh my gosh, at least he managed to fi like find some fever few. But he found another feather. He might like collecting feathers. Um, let's see, can we get any moss here? There we go. And now we've got some moss. Let's see how much we can carry back. Maybe we can carry back three mosses. There we go. My gosh, and we'll go the long way around so we don't run next to that dog again. Oh my gosh. I can't believe he ran into a two leg and a dog in the same day. What a poor kitten. He's just, he just doesn't have any luck at all. All right, and then let's go ahead and we'll leave the fever few plant over here because we don't need it yet. Um, and we can start decorating around the camp with that. But yes, we are still going to be visiting with Stream Lily and we will be checking in on her, but I really feel like her main story has kind of calmed down. She has learned she doesn't really need to dedicate her life to revenge. She is keeping an eye on a little ice kit and like encouraging ice kit to grow up nice and healthy there we go see we can leave a whole bunch of moss just kind of scattered around here for lightheart i think lightheart there you go lightheart i'm sure she's very appreciative of that because now her plants have a little bit more water because we brought her some like nice mossy moss moss that she can use before taking care of her plants wonderful all right then we'll be let's let him roam around and we'll see what else he manages to find apparently still he's not terrible at hunting he's just not super good at it either oh there's another bunny there's so many and they just they just scuttle right out of here oh my gosh all right we'll keep whoops wow that's camp <laughs> <laughs> he would he would tumble right into camp while trying to chase rabbits. Oh, that would be so embarrassing. He's just so adorable already. I really like him. All right, but I really do feel like Stream Lily's story has kind of started to reach a very natural conclusion. Um, not to alarm a whole bunch of you guys. Ooh, another feather. Not to alarm a ton of you guys that really love Stream Lily. I'm not saying we won't go back to her. Just she may be like an occasional interlude in between big events versus a main cat character that we go back to like every other day when we're doing warrior cats. So I really feel like, I mean, she doesn't have her desire for revenge anymore. She was able to successfully raise her apprentice into an adult warrior. They even were able, oh, I must have found like a bunny burrow. That's awesome. They were even able to discover that abandoned kit. And so now she's kind of working on raising ice kit to a warrior. And I kind of think if we do go back, oh, there's a little mouse. Oh, he got away. I kind of think if we do end up going back to Stream Lily, it would be really fun to, we're just chasing all the prey away, to work with Ice Kit instead. Because I really feel like Stream Lily has just done so much for us that her story, her story just feels pretty settled to me. I don't want to have to keep playing with our cats so the only times we ever really get to work with them is when they die after all. I just feel like it's kind of a good a good spot but let me know what you guys think because I do think it's important to rotate between the clans and give other cats the chance to have their stories. You never know how long those stories might last after all. For all I know Thimbleweed might end up not living very long but the whole reason I was telling you guys that Oh, and there's Brook Rose. Oh, Thimbleweed, you might have to run for it. Oh, you better run for it. All right. Oh, a shiny thing. What an awesome find. He is one of those lucky slash unlucky cats. Like everything, everything happens to Thimbleweed. Oh, okay. Like that. Let's get out of here. All right. But the whole reason I was telling you guys that is because we are actually playing in Stream Lily's save file right now. Oh, and there's, there's a plant. I think he would want that plant more than he would want the shiny thing. And we definitely need to go back home now. But you can see, oh, and now we definitely need to get out of the way of this gigantic fight that's happening. Oh, they just destroyed all of Stream Lily's whole spot. That's tragic. I can't believe that. All of the fish, all of the comfrey, everything that we built, they're destroying all of the rocks. 
They literally just destroyed Stream Lily's memorial as I was trying to brag about it. <gasps> oh, devastation. That'll teach me. Never again will I build something so beautiful. Somewhere where the cats keep fighting all of the time. Oh, I'm so disappointed. <laughs> all that hard work <laughs> to make that look so nice. Okay, now I learned my lesson. Uh, I'm never, ever, ever again going to build something that beautiful on a area that I know is going to be constantly destroyed by all of the different cats <laughs> that fight there. So sunning rocks and the waterfall. Oh, you've you've betrayed me for the last time. Oh, there we go. Let's go ahead. We'll stop by with Leap Fur and get a little bit of food. But yeah, I, I just feel like that's a good a good flow. I saved Stream Lily's save file. We're playing actively on her stream file right now, which means everything that she did in the world, like that beautiful memorial that they just destroyed. <sighs> But everything that she worked on and everything that we worked with her will still be shown everywhere in this world. All of the items that we put in different places, all of those things will last from generation to generation as we play different cats. I want to get to the point where we'll play a cat for a while and then we'll say that their story has kind of naturally concluded. You guys can help me decide kind of what their fate was. If something dramatic happened to them or if it was a more peaceful like old age that they sort of got to live. We can play as one of their heirs the next time we rotate back into that clan but I want to rotate between wind clan I want to rotate between shadow clan thunder clan maybe like and we'll always have apple clan going in the background I think and I just kind of want to move along that little group and maybe even occasionally turn some of our cats into rogue clans that may not always last forever they may just last long enough to have some kits and then we'll play that like in rotation in the future so I, we'll see we'll see but I just think that that's a really good way to do things so we found this weird useless shiny thing. I think Thimbleweed's gonna go ahead and just give it to Lightheart because he doesn't have anything else and he's disappointed. He was like, it was supposed to be a plant. <laughs> there you go. So I think this is gonna be pretty fun. We'll rotate between the clans, we'll rotate between the cats, we'll give them each maybe a good 12 to 20 episodes depending on what their stories play as, or they could have six episodes like poor Renfeather getting hit by that car. That was a little dramatic. And then we will move on to the next clan and we'll just kind of stay in rotation that way and see how the stories naturally unfold together. So I'm really looking forward to that and I will see you guys an awkward, adorable, unlucky, lucky little thimbleweed next time. Bye bye